Hello there, I'm Jay Broster, Ag Area Sales Manager for Lister Wilder, and welcome to another Machinery Walkaround video. Now today's video is all about the Merlot 42.7. This particular range is called the Turbine Farmer from Merlot, and it's sort of the medium category when it comes to the sort of the telehandler range. It's also got CS, which you can see at the end there, which stands for Cabin Suspension, which is unique to Merlot, and the 145 stands for 145 horsepower. It is in black, because here at Lister Wilder we're celebrating 75 years trading and you can order Merlot's black from factory. Let's take a look around. So just a repeat of what I said at the start there, with 75 years on our demonstrator, so a special edition Merlot to us, Turbo Farmer 42.7, 4.2 ton, 7 metre reach, cabin suspension, 145 horsepower. You just see the cabin suspension here, which you can turn on and off if you need to go into slightly uh, sort of shorter buildings, and to be honest, well, I'll leave it on all the time, it is absolutely awesome, it's so comfortable. So just pop the bonnet in. We'll start with the engine, which is a Deutz 3.6, 145 horsepower, and this is a stage 5 engine, so compliant for all the stage 5 emissions regulations that's currently out. DPF, add balloon, everything you need to save the planet, and it is nice and spread out in the engine into the exhaust at the back here. So it's really nice and spread out, it's not cluttered under the bonnet here. Still really good access for servicing, filters, air filter, we have a reverse fan as standard, so blows everything back out of the bonnet. There's a really nice, open, good power plant in here. At the front then, the Merlot ZM2 sort of headstock. We have a little pad here, and that is like a sensing pad. So whatever Merlot attachment implement you have on the front, the machine knows what's on the front and it can change its characteristics and the way it handles things. So if you notice you've got forks on, you can set forks, bucket, all that sort of thing, recognised through there. And what I really like about Merlot's, it dumps the pressure as you unscrew it and as you screw it back on again. So there's no, like, you don't get hydraulic lock nowadays like you used to, but you can just unscrew them and it'll dump the pressure. If you've got pressure in a pipe, you can screw it on. It's, it's just awesome. Only really for the UK is the uh, pickup hitch, and um, the older ones were sort of 12 ton rated. Um, to be honest, we, we tow quite a lot of bales and things in the UK for fertilizer trailers, bags, so we, we, we want something a bit more robust. And this new pickup hitch is rated to sort of 22 25 ton, so no, really beefy good hitch. While we're under the pudding in the engine, obviously at the front coming off is the hydraulics, the hydrostat, the hydraulic pump. So 150 litre per minute system, 250 bar, load sense, flow sharing, everything you need for a modern day telehandler. Good high clearance, um, Merlot's own hubs, really, really good strong system, but the main thing for me is the, is the high clearance there. And inside the axles we have a dry brake system, so to me, dry brakes, changing the pads when and if they need it is a 15, 20 minute job. Jumping in then, let's have a little look around the dials, the gauges, the levers, the buttons, switches, all of that. Your aircon there, forward reverse, standard stalk for indicators, lights, 
high low there for your transmission center instrument cluster there with all relevant information moving over the right then all the buttons pretty self-explanatory your boom suspension cab suspension all along there EPD sort of rev settings so this is sort of like um, auto rev there and if you flick that button then it allows it to rev up on the stick for the boom just see notice there for a safety thing you have to grab the sort of stick the joystick before they had a lever here but this is a lot nicer to use handbrake emergency stop sort of lock off from man cage sort of settings so there's your steering settings there rear remotes hydraulics all that sort of thing flow but what I really like about the Merlots is this new ACS screen adaptive stability control system so you can see there there's a little ball so whenever I move the joystick it shows boom position so that boom out then as it's booming out watch me truck and then back again so that's a real live time of weight as well so we have an onboard weigher very very accurate and then real time position of weights and it's kind of like a traffic light system I'll insert a picture below in a minute just to show you but as you move further out and if you're getting close to the, the limits of the machine this will light up sort of orange and then into red so it gives you a real life view of like like proper real time data of, of the load of the machine so there's your gyro your center of gravity your position how level it is that's the one I was looking for sort of level ground gauge and then sort of your weight there your maximum weight so obviously the more you put on there it will fill that gauge up in that top right there we have a sort of a user control system so if I flick that round so I'm on the, on the person there using the, the scroller click that and then I'm able to adjust certain things here also this is my favorite one you're allowed to slow and speed up certain hydraulic operations so we're all max 100% at the minute but you can increase them and decrease them as you like to slow and speed up the machine but that in tune with that makes it a very very diverse very nice machine to use well thanks for watching this brief introduction to the Merlot 427 if you'd like to know more or arrange a demonstration please get in touch We'll see you in the next video.